Hello, ladies and gentlemen, jury, and welcome to episode one of a Metroid Zero Mission playthrough. Now, you may be wondering, wait a minute, what is this? This isn't The Legend of Zelda. Well, you're right. Um, so, I think I'm gonna put Skyward Sword on hiatus. Admittedly, um, it's not something I'm very motivated to do. It's a fun game and all, but I really want to play a game that I have real passion for. And if, if, admittedly, this is one of the games, mainly because it's a very large part of a childhood. This is one of the first games I ever 100%ed, and it's one of the games that I know well. So, without further ado, let's start this Let's Play. I'm gonna go with uh, A here, and start the game, and I'm gonna go on normal, because we're not wusses. Planet Zebus. I called this place home once, in peaceful times, long before evil haunted the caverns below. Now, I shall finally tell the tale of my first battle with you, my so-called Zero Mission, Sam's Era. And with that, we're off! Alright, so we're gonna head over here real quick, grab the Morph Ball. Very, very important to us. The Morph Ball. Double tap down to take the ball form and gain access to narrow passageways. So, a uh, little bit about this playthrough, really. Um, it's a, kind of a whatever playthrough. Uh, I'll be basically kind of playing for fun, really. Um, I may or may not do certain things in the right order. Um, ouch, that hurt. Um, so yeah, I'm very interested to see what I'm going to do, where I'm going to take this, but yeah. Also, um, that circle in the map in the top right corner there indicates there's an item nearby. And that item's right there. Uh, we can't really reach it, as you can see, but I'll get back to that later. Here we've got a Chozo statue. It's the uh, ball up. Now, this is a remake, obviously, of the original Metroid, and I really like it because um, it, there are defined objectives, like it helps you to know where to go. There's a map. There's a map. Oh god, you don't have to believe how many times I got lost in the original Metroid, but yeah. Anyways, we're gonna go over here to uh, the save room real quick. Gonna make a save. Yes, please. And admittedly, it probably isn't very wise to save, because, uh, well, what happens if the recording fails or something? But whatever. I'm a, I'm a one-trick pony. I can do this, right? I got this. Gonna take this out. So yeah. Um, aside from, uh, enhanced graphics, uh, they really did a lot with this playthrough. Also, um, showing off my wall jump skills, just making sure the controls work so well. And they do. Thank god. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna try my best to, um, try and sequence break a few parts. Um, although admittedly I'm not the greatest at this game. Not at all, really, it's some thing. Also, um, if you notice, the map tells us to go there, but uh, let's demonstrate our first bit of sequence breaking and uh, go this way instead. Cause who needs who needs uh, directions, right? We can hold our own. We don't need anybody telling us what to do or where to go. We're free, free. I mean, like the anime, except with less half-naked guys. And we're gonna save again, I guess. I this is turning into my Legend of Zelda. Let's play already. <laughs> Oh god, I... Already making references to other LPs. And then, want to have you finished at that. So if we head down here, I'm gonna grab a supple missile. Also, head shaking above. We'll get to that later. So, missile tank. Press R plus B to fire. Opens red hatches. Thank you for that bit of knowledge, game. Uh, there we go. That's our R button. Oh, by the way, I'm using an emulator, so, uh, bing. And here we encounter our first, I wouldn't say boss? Um, mini boss is a more apt way to put it, I guess. It's really easy. It's really easy. Just stand in the middle. Oh, uh, and dodge those. Shoot him in the eye. Like most bosses in a uh, Nintendo game. And there we go. And by defeating him like that, we get our very first actual power-up. The Charge Beam. Uh, admittedly, if you wanted to, 
uh, you could skip out on getting it. You really can. Um, because after that third downtime, if you um, don't kill him by then, he'll flee to another area. I'm not quite sure where it is, because I usually beat him before that. But um, uh, I think you can encounter him again. But uh, not quite. I mean, this game was built around sequence breaking. Like, they prepared like there are many times where you can choose deliberately not to like follow the story um not necessarily the story there really ain't much of a story in this game but um what they tell you to do so we're gonna head this way because we really can't do anything up there yet uh ignore these guys because they're not hurting us right oh or, okay now you have to die now you all have to die all right how dare you hurt me I was trying to be friends, you know, avoid killing your kind, but seeing as how you, you know, were the hostiles and attacked me first, I am forced to uh, assemble my army against you. So now we see your nest, I will take it out, but first, get an item. Alright, okay. Okay, I guess I have to take it out anyways. And don't, 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 don't kill me, don't kill me before the let's plays even... I swear to god, if I die... Do these get- Mmm! Uh, I'm at 81 health, I'm fine. Uh, but I- I, I have been in the hard mode, and admittedly, the, the hardest part of the game on hard mode is this part. Just because of these guys. They are annoying, there are many of them, and they will kill you. As they're killing me now. But uh, hopefully, hopefully, I'll make it through. Now you may be wondering, why I'm doing this? Well, that's because my shot don't reach all the way. Um, because we um, decided not to uh, follow their directions and uh, you know go to that destined spot earlier, uh, we're at a bit of a disadvantage because we would have gotten the um, the long beam, which would have let our shot actually go all the way and reach it. But uh, because we didn't, we're kind of stuck like this. Oh god, not in a very good position either. Uh, let's see if I can take it out with missiles. Well, oh, okay. Hence concentration. Okay, one more shot, one more shot. Alright, there we go. Okay. Oh, I accidentally fell down. But, uh, thankfully we didn't have to, uh, die. You know, like, how long is it? 10 minutes and 5 minutes? In? I don't know. But really, relatively early into the game. Also, um, next item is another missile tank. Nice to refill up. And we get anything. So that'll fill up our energy. So we're all good to go. Uh I am not quite sure. I admittedly even though I've played this plenty of times, I, I still get lost quite often really. Which is why I need a map. But uh Yeah. Yeah. Uh let's see what's down here. Nah fuck that, we don't need that. Although, I admit, <laughs> I guess I kind of just said it like a little bit earlier that I do need a map, but uh, hey, you know what, I changed my mind. We don't need it, right? We're good, right? Uh, another save room. Glad we do that. I think we're making pretty good progress. Um, Actually, I, I might try to go for a uh, under two hour, under three hour run. I think that's manageable. So this will be a relatively quick LP, I think. Which is good because I don't want to, um, well, stick to one game for too long. And, uh, you know, Legend of Zelda's gonna be really long. Really long. Barely made it to the first dungeon in that, so that's why I'm gonna... I guess either put on a Hades or drop it. Simply because... That, I don't know, I feel like the progress that's made in each episode it really isn't much, and... Even if I were to cut up parts, it still doesn't. It wouldn't feel right or flow as well. Uh, but that aside, we finally got the bomb. Those will be very helpful. But uh... uh huh. I'm trying to. All right, bomb hopping works. Oh, just uh, making sure I got my list of skills ready in case we do need to sequence break something. Bomb hopping, 
is one of the utmost essential. Um, alright, so, I'll demonstrate it too. Also, that door is gray. Can't open it until we uh, meet the objective that they set out for the room. We need to usually kill everything that's in it. In this case, we got these little bug guys. So now, uh, hold on, if see, oh, oh. Uh, if you noticed earlier that they all got on top of me and started drinking my health, so yeah, if if um, enough of them latch onto you, they'll start drinking your health. And needless to say, that's not a very good thing. But bombs blow them right up, so let's save again. Yeah, this, that how many times have we saved? Oh well, they're really generous with the save points too, which is nice because games like this were um, you know, it it's. It's good. It's it was well the mobile uh, handheld game. My bad, not mobile. Uh, oh man, the timing is a lot different on this emulator. <laughs> okay. Than on the actual Game Boy. Okay, we got it. And then from there we can just ball jump. Or not. Oh man, we're gonna. Oh man. Ah, dang it. Alright, I'm gonna be quiet. Uh, or I'm gonna try to fast forward these, this part, maybe. Probably, most likely. Uh, I don't think we can really do anything up here, anyways, but, uh, yeah. Uh, be right back. Two hours later. I, I swear to God, I will get up there. Even if it means, even if it means, I'll be here forever. One eternity later. Oh! Oh! Oh, I did it! Oh, and it totally took me like 10 minutes! Oh, man, I'm gonna have to edit that out. Oh, man. But, thankfully, now that's behind us, we can continue. Uh, oh, okay. We can con We can continue on. And we'll heal up too. Oh, man, that took so long. Oh, and now they're giving us more directions now, aren't they? down to Norfair, which is the next area we're going to head into. But uh, now you may be wondering why I took the liberty of doing that. Um, I, honestly, I, I'm not really good enough to um, sequence break the upcoming part right now, but I, I, the best I can do is I can show you a glimpse of what is supposed to be, but um, doing this will make it easier for me um, in the long run, because I have to head back to this place to do a little more sequence breaking. In a sense, um, after I get some uh, thing, uh, well, uh, as you know, uh, I'll tell you. I guess it's really isn't a spoiler. This game's like what uh, over ten years old? I don't know, ten years old? Around around ten years old, maybe. So it's not really a spoiler, but um, uh, let's kill this guy first. There's this thing right there. See, this is space. And now that you notice that um, I uh. Hold on. I can't grab onto a ledge. Now, um, there, there's an item in the game that will give you the ability to grab onto ledges, and I kind of really need it for this part right here, secret break. But I'll show you. Um, real quick, what's up here? Eh. Uh, okay. Oh, finally made that. On to the next part. Alright, made that too. And... Now we're here! This is the part where I struggle most at, at admittedly. Uh, then again, I did take like 10 minutes to do that part. So arguably I struggle at all of it. But this is the part I can't even do at all. 
At least without um, the ability to grab and ledges. Because reasons. Because well, this is one of the reasons. And it, I, it probably could be done um, without the ability to ledge grab, but um, because these platforms right there and over there, um, over there, they don't um, they're not permanent. They break, so it's um I gotta be very careful. Ah, see, that's why. And if I fail there, it's sending me all the way back here. So yeah. Oh, uh, I am going to spend another ten minutes here just trying to figure, try to. I'll, I'll keep, I'll keep trying until I run out of health, basically. So yeah, I'll, I'll be right back again, I guess. No, I don't want to fall down. Oh man. Yeah, because the timing for um, ball hop is um, the bomb hop right, is doesn't do well with those blocks. Yeah, I'm at 30% HP. I'm gonna skip that. Oh, like I said, we'll be back there later. But for now. I, I, okay, I'm at 20 something HP. Ah! Uh, oh well. I think that I think that's about does it for this first episode. I, I've, shown you, I've shown you what we're gonna do. I've shown you what I'm capable of. So I think we're gonna end it there. Uh, if you like what you saw, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all so very much for watching, I hope you support this, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.